Welcome to another video of Quality Tech. In this video, I'll be showing you guys a tutorial on top three steps you could do to save storage on your iDevice. So probably you're here because your iPod, iPad or iPod Touch is running low on storage. Well, here are the three tips. Let's get right into it after the intro. Three tips using which you could manage your storage efficiently on your iPhone. So the very first thing uh, would be photos. So maybe you're a person who takes a, lot, a couple of lot of photos uh, using your iPhone as it has a good camera and uh, all that is taking up a lot of storage. Well, you could do this. For my photos, I have two apps. One is the normal gallery which is present with the iOS and the other one is Google Photos. So if I were to take a picture right now, it was, uh, it's just going to be a picture which... Uh, something like that uh, it would be saved in my photos so after it gets saved in my photos in my camera roll right here then it would automatically move on to Google photos let me just refresh that yes it will automatically be present in my Google photos right here now I could go ahead and delete this from uh, my gallery thus reducing storage from my phone so basically this uh, is uploaded to the cloud you could just log in by uh, entering your email id and access it from anywhere across the globe so that's a pretty cool feature by google photos and you could save a hell of a ton of storage okay so there are apps which you use regularly and there are a few apps which you don't really use regularly but you still need them well this is how you could handle them basically uh, the, the apps which I need but uh, I don't use them regularly is uh, Flipkart, Amazon and Quora so basically what I've done here these are not apps it might look like apps to you but these are not apps if you if I were to tap open it would take me to the website of Flipkart so this uh, makes the light version of the app uh, similarly if I were to go to Amazon it would take me to Amazon dot and through Safari uh, here again I'll be using the light version then if, if I were to open Quora then again the same thing so uh, basically how you do this is uh, you want to open Safari for example I'll just take Quora itself and you want to click on the share button right there and hit on add to home screen and uh, maybe rename it as Quora itself and put it on add and that will add this uh, to your home screen so you could just access it from here well uh, you could do this for uh, apps which you don't use uh, regularly but you need them now uh, if you're a person who gets a lot of text messages what you want to do is you want to hop on settings and uh, you want to go to messages right here and click on keep messages and it would be on forever or one year on your device you wanna put it to uh, 30 days so basically what 30 days is if you get a lot of message after 30 days uh, the messages history will be deleted so that's how you can manage your space efficiently guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button also hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload a new video I'll catch you guys in the next one